How do you manage your staff? How do you manage your team? There's a great saying, Zig Ziglar said this. He said, if you help enough people get what they want, you'll get everything else you want. So what does that really mean to us? People that are looking to better manage and engage their team so they become more productive, so we can retain them longer. They can be happier employees. Well, the key is, is you have to, um, you, you, you have to help them get what they're looking for. You see, there's two really main things that we have to do to better um, take care of our people. One, we have to look at areas where we're neglecting them. Are we meeting their needs? What do they want? Well, from my experience, employees want stability. They want to feel acknowledged and appreciated. Are you doing that? Do you acknowledge them? Do you help them feel appreciated? Is there upward growth in your company? Do they have, I mean, they're gonna, if you want them to stay for a long time, is there upward growth? Each one of our employees has different needs. And we have to make sure as business owners, we're meeting their needs. One of the simplest things to do is just ask them. Ask them where their frustration is coming from. What are they frustrated about? Do they have anxiety? Do they feel that they're not clear on some things? These are all great ways to know if we're meeting their needs. The other thing that's really important when you're managing and building a team is expectation. Are you clear with what you expect for them? Can't tell you how many times in, in my practice is I was clear in what I wanted them to do up here. I kept a lot of my stuff just in my head and just assume everyone knew what I wanted. So are you making your expectations clear to them? So if it's your front desk person, are they clear what you expect? Are you monitoring cancellations or percent arrivals? If so, what's your expectations? Is it 90%, 92%? Do they know that? The other thing is what they can expect from us. See, it's a two-way street. What can your employee expect from you? What are you going to promise? See, it's easy to say, I expect this and this and this from them. But what can they expect from us? So important. Because if you can help your employees get what they want, stability, acknowledgement, growth, then you're going to get everything you want. Because those types of people are happier, more productive people who want to stay with you. So take a look at where are you not meeting their needs? And where could you better clarify the expectations that you want from them and what they can expect from you? If you do these things, I promise you'll create a better team, a better culture, and that will produce better results, less anxiousness and anxiety and stress on you and on them. Hope this helps. If you have any questions or any comments, feel free to share them with me. Love to know about it. Talk, talk to you soon.